How's it going mates? My name is KP and welcome to the second installment of my Valheim mini tutorial series. In today's episode I will be going over food mechanics, making your first bow and showing you guys how to use it to hunt. For those that haven't heard of Valheim, Valheim is a new viking survival game where you can explore the lands, build bases and slay monsters and demons. The game is currently in early access and is available on Steam and if you'd like to learn more the link is just down below. Now if this video helps you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. I also stream Valheim and many other games over at Twitch, and if you'd like to check that out, you can just find the link down below in the description. But with that all out of the way, let's get this show on the road. Alright, in the last episode I showed you guys the basic mechanics to get you started and building your first shelter, but now you find yourself with low health and stamina and in dire need of a decent feed. To start off, if you look to the bottom left of your screen, you will see three boxes next to your health bar. These boxes will show you foods you have recently consumed and in order to fill all three boxes you will need to eat three different types of foods. For example you will not be able to fill all three boxes with raspberries alone. The amount of health and stamina you gain from eating will also depend on what you eat. For example eating berries and mushrooms will only give you a small amount of HP, whereas cooked meat on the other hand will give you a lot more. To begin you can venture out into the forest and find raspberries and blueberries grown on shrubs which you can pick off by pressing E. Along the ground, you will also find mushrooms grown, which you can also pick up by pressing E. Berries and mushrooms can be consumed straight away, by simply opening your inventory and right clicking on them. Upon consuming, you will notice that the food will appear in the boxes next to your health bar, and you will also notice that your health and stamina will increase a little bit. If you want to gain more health and stamina, you will need to eat cooked meat. To do this, you can hunt down the lizards known as necks for neck tails and boars for raw meat. You will also find deer along your travels, but I would personally avoid them until you have a ranged weapon, as they do run away when you approach them and you will waste your stamina trying to chase after them. Boars and necks, on the other hand, will charge and attack you, making it an easier kill for your melee weapons. Just be careful as they will hurt you and potentially kill you. Boars will also drop leather scraps, which upon collecting you will unlock the crude bow and many other items to be crafted at your workbench. So make sure to grab plenty of leather scraps so you can make your first bow when you return home. Once you've collected a good amount of raw meat and necktails, you can begin cooking them up. You can either return home where you can craft other things in the meantime, or if you're in desperate need of healing, you can also cook them up wherever you may be. Simply pull out your hammer's building menu and select the campfire to place down. Once your campfire has been placed, open your building menu again and under the crafting tab, you will notice the cooking station. Select the cooking station and place it on top of your campfire. Now that you have a cooking station and a lit fire, simply press E to chuck the meat on. Or if you want to cook a specific meat, drag that item into your toolbar and press whichever number you have placed the food in. For example, I would press 4 to cook my necktails instead of my raw meat. Once you have placed your food on the cooking station, you will now need to wait around until it's finished cooking to pull the meat off. Once the meat is ready, you will hear a sizzle and notice the meat change, indicating that it's ready to be removed. If left on the fire for too long, it will repeat this animation, burning your food and turning it into coal. If you want to speed up your cooking process, you can also place multiple cooking stations over the same campfire, so that you can cook all your meat all at the same time. Now that you've been out hunting and have collected leather scraps, you will also be able to craft a crude bow at your workbench, using 10 wood and 8 leather scraps. To use your bow, you will also need arrows, which you can craft wooden arrows at your workbench. Once you have crafted your bow and arrows, you will now be able to hunt animals a lot easier, while also keeping a safe distance from attacks. This will also help you to hunt deers as you can shoot them down without getting too close to scare them off. To use the bow, simply hold it in your hand and hold the left mouse button to begin charging your shot. The further away your target is, the higher up you will need to aim to counter the arrow drop. You will also notice that charging and holding your shot will drain your stamina. Once you run out of stamina, it will cancel your shot. It may take some getting used to, but after a good afternoon of hunting, you will begin to get the gist of it, and it will become a lot easier to land your shots. If you do end up missing shots and your deer begin to run away scared, don't worry about chasing after them. Simply stay where you are, and the deer will eventually return back to their original position. Alright, that about wraps up today's video. I've gone through the basic food mechanics to get you moving and helped you out making your first bow for hunting. 
In the next episode, I will show you how to kit yourself out with some better armor and to get you prepared to face the first boss in Valheim and get you your pickaxe. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you out, make sure to drop a like as I will continue to add to this series if the videos do well. I also stream over at Twitch, so if you have any questions or queries, feel free to jump into chat and I'll help you out with whatever I can. Until next time, you guys have a good one and happy hunting. Cheers, mates.